Welcome to this video about the history and prophecy of Babylon, a city that challenged God and his people throughout the ages. In this video, we will explore the stories of Nimrod, Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, and the fall of Babylon, as well as the future role of Babylon in the end times. We will also learn some important lessons from Babylon's rise and fall, and how they apply to our lives today. Babylon was one of the earliest and most powerful civilizations in human history. It was located in modern-day Iraq, near the Euphrates River. Babylon was known for its magnificent architecture, culture, and wealth. But it was also known for its wickedness, idolatry, and opposition to God and his people. The first mention of Babylon in the Bible is in Genesis 10, where we read about Nimrod, a mighty hunter and city builder. He was a descendant of Ham, one of Noah's sons. Nimrod led the people to build the Tower of Babel, a monument to their pride and ambition. They wanted to reach heaven and make a name for themselves. But God saw their rebellion and confusion. He confused their languages and scattered them over the face of the earth. This is how the name Babel, which means confusion, came to be. The next mention of Babylon in the Bible is in 2 Kings 24, where we read about Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon who conquered Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel. He besieged Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews into exile. He also destroyed the temple of God and took its vessels to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar was a proud and arrogant ruler. He built the Hanging Gardens of Babylon for his wife, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. He also erected a golden statue of himself and commanded everyone to worship it. But God humbled him by making him live like an animal for seven years, until he acknowledged that God is the most high and sovereign over all kingdoms. The last mention of Babylon in the Old Testament is in Daniel 5, where we read about Belshazzar, the last king of Babylon. He was the son of Nabonidus, who was the son-in-law of Nebuchadnezzar. Belshazzar was a wicked and blasphemous king. He threw a lavish feast for his nobles and used the temple vessels of God to drink wine and praise the gods of gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. But God intervened and sent a hand writing on the wall, a message of doom and judgment. Belshazzar was terrified and called for Daniel, the prophet of God, to interpret the writing. Daniel told him that God had numbered his days, weighed him in the balance, and found him wanting. He also told him that his kingdom would be divided and given to the Medes and Persians. That very night, Belshazzar was killed and Babylon fell to the army of Cyrus, the king of Persia. The fall of Babylon was a fulfillment of many prophecies in the Bible, such as Isaiah 13, Jeremiah 50-51, and Habakkuk 2. God used the Medes and Persians to execute his justice and wrath on Babylon, the enemy of his people. God also called his people to flee from Babylon and return to Zion, the city of God. He promised to restore them and bless them, as he said in Jeremiah 29:12-14, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. But the story of Babylon does not end there. Babylon will rise again in the end times, as a symbol of evil and rebellion against God. The book of Revelation describes the final Babylon as a great city, a prostitute, and a beast. It also contrasts Babylon with the New Jerusalem, the Bride of Christ. Babylon represents the anti-God system of the world, while Jerusalem represents the kingdom of God and his people. Revelation 18 announces the fall of Babylon and the mourning of the kings, merchants, and sailors of the earth, who benefited from her luxury and trade. Babylon is the source of all kinds of sin and abomination, such as greed, pride, idolatry, immorality, violence, and persecution. Babylon is linked to money and materialism, as the Bible says in Revelation 18,3, For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Babylon also opposes God and persecutes his people, as the Bible says in Revelation 18:24. In her was found the blood of prophets and of God's holy people, of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. The destruction of Babylon is caused by God's sovereignty and justice, as the Bible says in Revelation 18:8. Therefore in one day her plagues will overtake her, death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. The destruction of Babylon is also instigated by the beast and the ten kings, who hate her and turn against her, as the Bible says in Revelation 17 16-17, the beast and the ten horns you saw will hate the prostitute. They will bring her to ruin and leave her naked, they will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. 
For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish his purpose by agreeing to hand over to the beast their royal authority, until God's words are fulfilled. The destruction of Babylon will be the worst economic disaster in history, as the Bible says in Revelation 18:17-19. In one hour such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Every sea captain, and all who travel by ship, the sailors, and all who earn their living from the sea, will stand far off. When they see the smoke of her burning, they will exclaim, Was there ever a city like this great city? They will throw dust on their heads, and with weeping and mourning cry out, Woe! Woe to you, great city, where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. In one hour she has been brought to ruin. The fall of Babylon will be a cause of rejoicing for God and his people, as the Bible says in Revelation 18:20, Rejoice over her, you heavens! Rejoice, you people of God! Rejoice, apostles and prophets! For God has judged her with the judgment she imposed on you. The fall of Babylon will also pave the way for the coming of Christ and the establishment of his eternal kingdom, as the Bible says in Revelation 19:1-6. After this I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke from her goes up for ever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne. And they cried, Amen, Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both great and small. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder, shouting, Hallelujah! For our Lord God Almighty reigns. What can we learn from the history and prophecy of Babylon? Here are some lessons that we can apply to our lives today. Pride leads to confusion and downfall. Babylon was built on human pride and ambition, but God confused their languages and scattered them. Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar were proud and arrogant, but God humbled them and brought them to ruin. The final Babylon will be the epitome of pride and rebellion, but God will destroy it and judge it. The Bible warns us in Proverbs 16 verse 18, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Earthly kingdoms are temporary and unstable. Babylon was one of the greatest empires in history, but it fell to the Medes and Persians. The final Babylon will be the dominant power in the end times, but it will be hated and betrayed by the beast and the kings. The Bible tells us in Psalm 146 verses 3 to 4, Do not put your trust in princes, in human beings, who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground, on that very day their plans come to nothing. Seek God's kingdom and righteousness. Babylon represents the world and its values, but God calls us to come out of Babylon and be separate. He calls us to seek his kingdom and his righteousness, which are eternal and unshakable. He promises to bless us and reward us, as he said in Matthew 6 verse 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things. Thanks for watching, don't forget to visit the channel, subscribe and like the video.